Welcome to episode four of the Product Running Extra Mile Show. It's a new year and the perfect time to start setting yourself some goals and planning in a few races for the year. So in this episode, we're gonna take you through some of the many race options available to you and also give you some advice on how you can improve your 5K time. And there's no time like the new year to get yourself a new pair of running shoes. So we're gonna take you through some of the latest drops and you can also win a pair later in the show. So let's get into it, but before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the show, and let us know what your plans are for 2019 in the comments. In the last episode, we told you guys about a competition to win a pair of A6 Gel Nimbus and a place for you and a friend to run at Manchester Marathon. We're pleased to announce that the winners of that competition were Philip and Siobhan Daniels. Congratulations guys and thank you very much for entering. Your shoes will be with you very soon and we can't wait to share your Manchester Marathon journey with you. And thanks to everybody who entered. If you missed out on episode three, you can hit the link and catch up on that or any previous episodes now. And please do let us know what you thought of those episodes in the comments below. First up, there is a new European 10K record of 27 minutes and 25 seconds by Julian Wanders, beating his own European record set in October of 2018 by seven seconds. We saw exciting racing at the great Sterling Cross Country recently. Laura Muir led a strong British team to victory in the mixed relay, while American Hilary Bohr came out on top in a dramatic sprint finish to take the win in the men's 8K. Neither results were enough to stop Europe taking the overall victory at the event. British 10,000 meter champion Charlotte Otter has kicked off her 2019 in style. She finished second in the women's 6K at Great Stirling Cross Country and also ran a time of 15.50 at Cardiff Park Run recently, improving her PB by 20 seconds and becoming the fastest ever female park runner. It's 2019, a new year, and with that comes a lot of exciting new product. You can check out all the latest releases now online at prodirectrunning.com, but here are just a few of our top picks. Now, if you're a fan of the New Balance Zante, then get ready to smash some PBs this year in the new Zante Pursuit. Perfect for daily training and middle distance running. I'm excited to see an update to one of my favorite shoes from Saucony, the Kinvara 10. It dropped earlier this month with a limited edition colorway to celebrate its 10th anniversary. ASICS also recently launched the 7th edition of the GT2000. That's available online now in a range of colours. We have good news for fans of the Nike Zoom collection. Nike have just launched the full We Fly pack online in this striking new blue colourway and it includes the Vaporfly 4%. Hit the link now to shop the full collection. And finally, we have an exciting new update in the most popular running shoe that Adidas have ever made the Ultra Boost. That's right, this is a huge story for Adidas, so I travelled to Paris to attend the launch of the Ultra Boost 19 and find out a little bit more about the shoe's design. Hello and welcome to Pro Direct Running. We have travelled to Paris where we are going to find out more about Adidas's most exciting new shoe, the Ultra Boost 19. People were hacking the sport and um, we took that as an inspiration to actually hack our own product. So what we've done is, is, from decoding 17 components, we've recoded it to four components of greatness. In the end, we've got 20% more boost in the midsole. Um, this was the 3D sock upper. So what we've done here is, is a totally seamless upper for maximum comfort. Um, and then as mentioned, this is the, the, the iconic heel count. So we're using two different materials here to provide support, but also adaptability at the same time. The Adidas Ultra Boost 19 is available now for men and women at prodirectrunning.com. Make sure you let us know what you think of the shoe in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. If you guys would like to see more of that video from Paris, then hit the link now to go and check it out. But first, I've got a great competition for you. This week, we're giving one of you lucky people the chance to win a pair of the Ultra Boost 19. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, let us know in the comments below what you think of the shoe, and don't forget to include your UK shoe size. Winner will be announced in the next episode. Good luck. If you're new to running and not sure where to start, or you're an experienced runner who's looking to change up your routine and meet some new people, then joining a club or a crew can be a great way to do this. We recently caught up with the London-based rep runners to ask a few of their members what being in the crew means to them and how it helps their running. Rep Runners is a community of people that love to run. Um, it's like a little family of 
happy runners really. I think running as a group, you kind of motivate each other to get there. And especially when, you know, everyone's texting during the week, like see you Tuesday, see you Tuesday, and you're like, right, I can't bail on them because so and so's gonna be there or I'm gonna miss out on whatever it is. Well, Red Run is literally life and it's uh, most people think of it as a running club, it's way more than that. This is a community. This is what brings us together every week. When I first started running, I never really enjoyed it. And joining this has really just made me love running. Like every Tuesday, even at work, I'm like, oh, should I go, should I not go? Then I come and I just forget everything that's happened during the day. We run around, we listen to music, have a bit of a party. The beauty of running with rep is that there's no hierarchy. There's no, I'm quicker than you, or I'm faster than you, or I'm whatever. It's everyone just comes to run and enjoy it. Now it's time to have a look at some of the images you've been sharing with us over on Instagram. First up is Jack Nixon, who pointed out that a one hour run is only 4% of your day, so no excuses. Next up, we have Rundem crew member Kai Wright, who seems pretty impressed with his medal haul for the year. Ultra runner Hannah Laith shared this great post with the great news that she'll be taking on the formidable UTMB later this year. Are you running any ultra marathons this year? If you are, let us know where in the comments below and tell us if you've got any top tips for those first time runners. We also wanted to give a shout out to Owen Williams who has been making the most of running with a head torch and shared this awesome image of him running in Edinburgh. Sometimes we all need a little motivation to do the miles. So we've put together a list of top follows for 2019. Head over to our Instagram channel to see who they are and we hope that they'll help you stay on track for 2019. Hello everybody, my name is Ben Parks and what I want to talk to you today about is some 5K tips. Now my 5K PB is I think 15.51, um, but when I first started out running, it would have been well over half an hour. So I've managed to knock some bit of time off that over the years. And so here are my top tips to improve your PB. So the first thing we're going to talk about is sessions and how to build these into your week. So I've got a couple of sessions here that I think you could um, easily get into your week. They're time-based, sort of mentally, it can be a little bit easier to factor these in. So the first one is I just call one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. So what I mean by that is one minute running very, very fast, as fast as you can, up about sort of a 90% intensity effort, and then one minute very, very slow to recover. And then two minutes, again, at an all out pace, and then two minutes to recover. And you just go up, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Now, why these are very good, your heart's a muscle and it gets good to get that expanding and contracting and that's really going to help build that cardiovascular system inside. The second session that I'd really recommend is uh, 248. 842. So what I mean by that is two minutes, again at an all out pace, and then two minutes standing still uh, recovered. Four minutes at an all out pace, and then again two minutes um, standing still to recover. Eight minutes at an all out pace, and then two minutes again to recover. So always a two minute recovery, two, four, eight, and then eight, four, two. And yet if you do these for about sort of three, four weeks, and then have a go another go at your PB, you're really gonna find you're gonna be that much fitter to take on that PB conquest. So moving on, I just wanna talk about how we can safely add mileage to our training week. Now it's no secret, the more we can run, the faster and fitter we're gonna get. But adding that safely is always the challenge because we don't wanna get ourselves injured. So what I'd really recommend is once or twice a week to get out on really low intensity, conversational paced runs. Now what I mean by this, low heart rate, about 140 to 150 beats a minute if you have a heart rate monitor, or running at a pace where you can chat to a few friends if you're running along together. You shouldn't be out of breath, you should be nice and relaxed. And you can go out for these slightly sort of longer sort of distances, maybe 30 minutes up to about an hour, or even longer, uh, depending on how fit you are already. Build these into your week, you're gonna find your fitness really improves very, very quickly. So moving on, I want to talk about running drills and how important these are. They really help to improve our form and with better form, we can move over the ground and cover that distance that much more efficiently. So the first thing I wanna talk about is something called strides. So strides are very short bursts, usually about 100 to 150 meters of very intense running, usually about sort of 95% all out effort just for that short distance we're covering. Now this has the benefit of really improving our stride length, the amount of distance um, that our feet will cover 
between strides. The greater our stride length is, the less amount of strides we will need to cover the distance. So moving on, I want to talk about pacing and how important it is to practice what it's going to feel like to run at your goal 5k pace. So every now and then build in a few kilometer blocks during your run. So it might be just 1k and you're going to run that at your goal pace. So if you're targeting a 20 minute uh, 5k then run at four minutes for that 10k. See how it feels. It makes it a lot easier obviously if you've got your GPS watch. Uh, just have it on lap pace if you're lapping in kilometers and just run for that small little section there and get the feeling of what it's going to be like to travel over the ground at exactly that pace that you want to achieve come race day. Now one of the best ways to get motivated and stay on track is to fill your calendar with races. It certainly is. There's nothing like the pressure of a looming start line to get you out the door. Luckily for us, there's a huge selection of races across all distances and disciplines to get involved with. Adidas City Runs is a fantastic series of races held in and around London. The first of which is their unique one hour race held on the 7th of April. If you had set your sights on the Virgin Money London Marathon but weren't lucky enough to get a place, then the Essex Greater Manchester Marathon is a fantastic alternative. A fast course and amazing atmosphere is a sure-fired recipe for good times. Last year I took on the Montaigne Lakeland 50. It was my first ultra marathon and if you're looking to take on an ultra this year I can't recommend it highly enough. But if that's not enough of a challenge for you, they also have a 100 mile version too. For those of you that love trail running but aren't quite ready to take on the ultra distance, there are loads of fantastic options available. A great example being the Maverick Innovate Original Race Series, who hold races all over the UK with distances ranging from 5k to 25k and beyond. If team running is your thing, then why not give the Mizuno Endure 24 a go? Build as the Glastonbury for runners, they hold events in both Reading and Leeds. Finally, let's not forget that one of the easiest ways to get out and run this year is to head down to your local park run. Fun, well-organised 5k races right on your doorstep every weekend. Perfect. And let us know what races you're planning to take on this year in the comments below. And don't forget to tag us in your race day pictures. So that's it for this episode of The Extra Mile. Don't forget to enter our competition to see if you can win a pair of the Adidas Ultra Boost 19 and tune into the next episode to see if you've won. Thanks for watching and here's to a healthy, happy 2019.